EMF exposure versus smart homes, is it worth the danger? Having a smart home is a dream for almost everyone. Who doesn't need a Wi-Fi thermostat that adjusts to desirable temperatures when it senses a cold snap? Or monitors your babysitter at home while you're at the office? It sounds cool, right? But is it worth the danger? The implementation of fifth-generation cellular network technologies results in the emission of RF radiation. Tech manufacturers are pushing for more wireless technologies that emit tons of RF radiation and Wi-Fi radiation. These modern technologies expose you to high levels of EMF radiation. Continuous exposure to high levels of electromagnetic radiation from these smart devices is linked to various health risks such as cancer, brain tumors, and leukemia in children. Smart homes are designed to connect to multiple devices wirelessly. The devices communicate with each other through the Wi-Fi network. Wi-Fi signals from these 5G technologies emit radio frequency, RF, radiation that is linked to DNA damage, cancer, and infertility. The RF signals expose you to microwave radiation similar to that used by a microwave to cook. Even the wired smart systems in your house emit dirty electricity that is associated with other health risks. There are a lot of health risks associated with smart homes. In this article, you will learn about EMF emission from smart devices and how to protect yourself from these emissions. And by the way, if you want to minimize the EMF radiation you are exposed to in your daily life, I highly recommend checking out the first link in the description below this video. How Smart Devices Work As people turn to the internet for all their daily tasks, more and more smart devices have emerged in the market. This has prompted the growth of smart homes since all the smart devices are connected via the internet. With a smart home system, you would be able to control and automate almost all of your electronic devices in your home at a central point. This can easily be done through a central control panel, your cell phone, or a tablet. Software is installed in the control panel to allow you to automate tasks or manually control all the devices connected to your home network. For example, a Wi-Fi thermostat allows you to set different temperature ranges within a specific time. Some thermostats have vacation mode to allow you to schedule temperatures based on the days you will be away. These devices continuously emit high RF radiation that increases your risk of electromagnetic dangers. The more smart appliances you can control from a remote place, the more you will increase the RF radiation in your home. Most manufacturers of these appliances allow you to control the devices via Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or plugging them directly to a smart network. As a result, the devices will emit significant levels of RF radiation. Radiation from smart devices. Radiation is all over, from smart home devices, 5G towers, power lines, and even cell phone towers. Your Wi-Fi enabled devices do emit low energy radiation, which is harmful to your health. If your home has smart devices like those advertised by Hire, then your living room will be full of wireless devices such as smart TVs, smart air conditioner, smart touch panels, smart light bulbs, door and window sensors, smart sockets, etc. These smart devices will expose you to a lot of electromagnetic radiation. Their EMF emission is much higher than that of your cell phone device. Since we all know the dangers of exposure to cell phone radiation, the smart device will put you at higher health risk. This is because the smart gadgets are designed to operate 24-7. This exposes you to a lot of radiation, unlike your cell phones which emit high radiation when making and receiving a call. Therefore, the future of technology around your home will exceed the EMF safety standards designed to protect you from EMF exposure. Each day, you will be exposed to high levels of EMF radiation equivalent to radiation from multiple cell phone devices. Radiation from Amazon Alexa and Apple Siri The advent of artificial intelligence and voice computing has brought the use of interactive voice-based virtual assistants in the form of Apple Siri and Amazon Alexa. Siri acts as a digital assistant in an Apple ecosystem, especially iPhones, while Alexa is a home assistant for Amazon Smart Home Echo devices. These virtual assistant devices have become a staple in every modern smart home. Amazon Alexa, Echo speakers, and Apple Siri devices are commonly found in living areas and dining rooms. The Apple HomePod devices are smart speakers developed as a direct competitor for Amazon Echo speakers. 
Amazon Echo and Apple HomePod speakers use a wireless network to connect and communicate. Both devices are controlled through voice commands. You can ask Alexa about the weather patterns, latest trends, give you directions, or search for information on the web. Apple Siri integrates with third-party apps for extended capabilities. Siri responds to personal queries and commands using the natural language. For example, it can schedule a meeting for you, check your email, call your mom, find restaurants for you, etc. The popularity of these devices in almost every smart home has brought concerns about the health risks associated with them. Health risks associated with smart homes. If you have a smart home with wireless devices all over, you're exposing your family to carcinogenic radio frequency radiation. Some of the health risks you may experience when living in a smart home include 1. Lack of enough sleep. According to a study on the effects of the RF radiation, the low frequency signals emitted by Wi Fi routers and cell phone devices impact your sleep. When controlling the wireless devices in your smart home, you expose yourself to a lot of electromagnetic signals. Continuous exposure to EMF radiation interferes with the quality of your sleep. You will find it difficult to fall asleep. Sleep deprivation over a long period will lead to other health issues such as depression and hypertension. 2. Lack of concentration slash focus. Research on the effects of Wi-Fi radiation indicates that those exposed to constant Wi-Fi radiation experience reduced concentration as well as reduced brain activity. Your smartphone or tablet connects to the internet through a Wi-Fi router. With the implementation of 5G Wi-Fi routers in the next 3 to 5 years time, the frequency spectrum will be higher than the current 2.4 GHz. It poses more health risks to individuals. 3. Heart Problems Research conducted to determine heart rate variability to 69 individuals exposed to EMF radiation from 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi routers found an increased risk of heart diseases. From the research, more individuals experienced increased heart rate just like someone under stress. Having a smart home system will increase the risk of developing a heart problem because of the increased exposure to high levels of EMF radiation. 4. Infertility Issues Constant exposure to RF radiation from smart home appliances will lead to reduced sperm production. It also leads to DNA fragmentation according to a study done on both humans and animals. Another study indicated that frequent exposure to wireless frequencies from your smart home network prevents egg implantation. Continuous exposure to electromagnetic waves radiation increases oxidative stress levels. As a result, you may experience abnormal pregnancy or prevent the implantation of the egg. 5. Affects your child's development. Exposure to high radiation levels while pregnant can affect fetus development. Your child may experience poor cellular development. For example, a study done on a fetus exposed to non-thermal RF radiation indicated delayed kidney development. The EMF radiation from these smart appliances disrupts the protein synthesis process, a tissue needed for the growth and development of children in the womb. How to protect yourself against EMF exposure from smart home devices. The best ways to protect yourself against any electromagnetic waves exposure is through Minimizing the use of smart devices. Keeping distance from these EMF emitting devices. Our homes are surrounding by EMF sources from these smart devices and this puts us at a very high risk of electromagnetic radiation. Your smart fridge, vacuum cleaner, thermostats, and other smart gadgets increase your exposure. If you want to have these smart devices, then you need to maximize your distance from them. This might be very difficult for you because the EMF sources are everywhere in your home. So in order for you to maximize the distance, then you need to minimize the use of these smart devices around your home. Smart technology brings a lot of benefits but you have to pay the ultimate cost of these benefits through your health. Continuous exposure to high levels of EMF may result in damage to DNA cells, cause cancer, and other health risks. I recommend putting your phone in airplane mode if not in use and sleeping away from your phone. Your phone still emits EMF radiation even when not in use because it keeps on searching for the nearest cell tower network to connect to. Therefore, keeping the phone away from you when you sleep minimizes your exposure risk. You should always do a cost-benefit analysis before buying any smart device for your home. Though they offer numerous benefits and joy, we expose ourselves to a lot of radiation on a daily basis. Due to the rising health risk associated with smart homes and other wireless technologies, 
Be careful about how you use them. It is good to enjoy modern tech devices but you should take some precautions. Be smart about what kind of smart devices you buy. Reducing dirty electricity in your home. By having a smart home, you will surely have a bunch of dirty electricity in your home. If you already have a smart meter device, there are high levels of dirty electricity coming from every circuit. This is the reason why you should have a smart home with everything hardwired. Having the entire house with devices connected to Wi-Fi or Bluetooth makes it hard for you to reduce EMF exposure. As I said, you can't have your Wi-Fi thermostat connected to your Wi-Fi router guard and expect it to protect you against the RF emissions. But you can protect your home against dirty electricity unless you have electrical wiring problems. Installing the Graham Stetzer filter in your home will help reduce dirty electricity generated into safe levels. Consider using a shield for your smart meter. Also, I just want to quickly mention that if you're at all concerned about EMF radiation, you should take a second and check out the first link in the description. Summary Smart devices give off a small amount of electric and magnetic field radiation. When the devices connect wirelessly to transfer data, they do emit radio frequency radiation which is dangerous for your health. Due to the radiation emitted by these devices, it is recommended to keep away from the EMF emitting device. Some smart devices like Amazon Echo recommend keeping a 20 centimeters distance. Since almost all smart devices in your home connect via the internet, it is not easy to maintain distance from the EMF emitting source. The only way you can reduce the exposure to RF radiation emitted by these devices is to minimize their use. It's good to have these modern devices at your home but not at the expense of your health. The more wireless connectivity required to keep controlling these devices remotely, the more radiation you're exposed to. The risk of exposure can be reduced by hardwiring all your smart home devices. And don't forget to subscribe, like and comment to our channel for more useful tips and tricks and visit infgardtips.com. Thanks for watching.